Good evening, I'm Mandy Strauss, bringing you the headlines for tonight. The body of a 45-year-old man who drowned at Onizimba village in the Oshana region on Friday was discovered today. According to community members, Lucas Shindongo drowned while he was trying to cross flood waters. The Namibian police flew to the village in an NDF helicopter this morning to collect the body. The Namibian Defence Force has announced the appointment of the new Army Commander, Brigadier General John Mutwa. Mutwa, who is expected to assume the rank of Major General, takes over from Major General Peter Namundunga, who will retire as from the 1st of next month. This was confirmed by NDF Chief Lieutenant General Epaphra Sundaitwa. And in news from the court, the Vintuk High Court has removed a planned leave to appeal by a former official of the Ministry of Environment and Tourism today. The official, Sakina Mugongo, was sentenced to 10 years, with two years suspended for five years in June last year. Zimbabwean Prime Minister Morgan Tsvangarai met President Ifike Kunukuhamba at State House this afternoon to brief him on that country's government of national unity. Tsvangarai says he believes as uh, says he uh, believes as chairman of SADC, President Buhamba has a role to play in that country's next elections. He says he wants SADC to draw up a roadmap that will lead to free and fair elections after the finalization of the constitution and referendum. In news from beyond our borders, highly radioactive water has been found for the first time outside one of the reactor buildings at Japan's Kwekit Fukushima nuclear plant. The leak in a tunnel linked to the number two reactor has raised fears of radioactive liquid seeping into the environment. In sports news, the hopes of Namibia's welterweight boxer Tyson Ushona to win the Commonwealth welterweight title were dashed by England's Denton Vassal on Saturday night. Vassal beat Tyson on a unanimous points decision. And that's the headlines for today. You can also view those headlines on our website www.nbc.com.na. Until tomorrow, it's good night.